there are some exciting new products which are also under development. I think the most exciting products are very clearly the long-acting products. At the moment, people with haemophilia need to treat themselves typically three times a week if they have factor rate deficiency. Um, that would be ideal treatment, and typically twice a week for uh, factor nine deficiency. We've got new products becoming available, which I think will be available within the next five years, which will mean patients will be able to treat themselves just once a week for haemophilia A, and possibly even once every two weeks for haemophilia B. So, the gene therapy trials that have been carried out so far have been done in Philadelphia in the United States and in London in the United Kingdom. And basically what happens is the FACT8 or FACT9 gene is inserted into a harmless virus. And this virus, if you like, acts as a carrier for the FACT8 or FACT9 gene. And then this virus is, is, is injected into the veins of the patient. And then it finds its way to the liver. And the liver is where the FACT8 and FACT9 are normally made. And there, this virus sits and uh, produces small amounts of FACT8 and FACT9. That's the basic principle of the gene therapy trials. I think gene therapy will transform haemophilia care. It's only a question of time, and people argue about how long that will be. I think it's got huge application potential, particularly for the less affluent countries, and I'm thinking of countries such as, for instance, in Africa, or for instance, the Asian subcontinent. It would be a huge benefit to be able to effectively cure this condition and that's only achievable with gene therapy because modern therapy doesn't cure haemophilia, it simply stops the treatment manifestation.